There are three classes of drugs generally that are used to treat um, candida, candida infections and um, oh, that can be used I should say and as I was previously mentioning can, uh, candida oris is pretty much resistant to fluconazole which is one of the most common drugs used for um, treating candidemia um, especially in the third world and um, here in the United States we've been fortunate to not see any resistance to echinocandins among candida oris isolates so echinocandins um, are the first line treatment for most other candidemias but also uh, mo mo most other infections caused by candida species but also for candida auris and we've been fortunate in that we haven't seen resistance but that doesn't mean it, that we won't see resistance and this organism has a tendency to really develop resistance very quickly and so we recommend that when someone is being treated with any kind of candin that um, the patient is monitored very closely for treatment failure so that more drugs can be added on. Um, so that's good that we currently do have a treatment option for invasive infections. Um, and then there are several other drugs in the pipeline waiting, uh, you know, that, that show promising in vitro results. So we haven't done in vivo testing of new agents, but um, that there's good in vitro data that they may be effective. Um, and then the question about chlorhexidine, which is really a skin disinfectant and not treatment for invasive infection. Uh, there is in vitro data again that chlorhexidine, you know, ha it, depending on the type of chlorhexidine, there's, there's um, mixed efficacy. But um, right now we don't have evidence for or against recommending chlorhexidine.